Hi and welcome to Randy's Greenhouse. Today I'm going to be talking about three different water plants that are native to Florida that are frequently confused with one another. Right here behind me is a really common plant all throughout the, the southeast. It's called Cape Spatterdock, New Far Advena. It looks a lot like a water lily. A lot of people call it a water lily, but it's not. The flowers don't open completely. They're yellow. They're kind of pretty, uh, but people frequently call them water lilies. This is not a water lily. As you can see, unlike lotus and water lilies, the flowers do not open completely. This is a completely open flower. It's a small yellow, lemony yellow flower. They're rather attractive, but not as impressive as the lotus and the water lilies as you'll see in just a moment. Now this is one of my favorite plants in the world. This is a lotus. This is the American lotus, native to Florida here. You can see it's got these enormous, beautiful flowers which eventually form these, these seed pods. They're usually, uh, you see these a lot in, in dried floral arrangements. One of the main differences between these guys and the spatter dock and the water lily is the leaves are perfectly circular with just a connection in the center. A water lily would have a deep split down the center. It would have a heart-shaped leaf. Same with the, the spatter dock. These are an amazing plant. They can, they can populate a lake like this within one season. You put one of these plants in here, it'll fill this lake in one year. It's amazing, very aggressive plant. They spread through rhizomes underground and they also drop their seeds all over the place. The seeds are amazing. They can last for thousands of years. There's actually a lake in China where they've been digging up seeds from the lake sediments that are over 2,000 years old and they're still sprouting. They've got uh, a specimen of, of that at, at UCLA. It's an amazing plant, one of my favorite plants in the world. I just think they're beautiful. And this is a water lily. You can tell by the heart-shaped leaves. This is a cool tropical night-blooming one. It's got these really nice dentate margins on it. Uh, we're catching it at about 7 o'clock in the morning, so the flower's still open. I'll show you a close-up of that in a minute. Uh, this kind of gardening is really fun because you can do it in a small space, as you can see. It's really easy to do. Uh, I like to use these net pots and uh, the roots just grow right through and they absorb nutrients from the water. It's just a big plastic tub. It's really me meant for potting trees and you could use anything that holds water. It'll work and this, this is obviously not that large and it's, I've been doing this for years. This is a good addition to a, any kind of a tub garden. This is a, a this is called hornwort. It's an oxygenator. Uh, it just adds oxygen to the water. It also helps to reduce the algae by removing nutrients from the water. But this is a lot of fun and uh, you're rewarded with beautiful flowers in a very small space. It brings a lot of interesting wildlife into my yard. Right now there's little uh, tadpoles swimming around in here from the tree frogs that laid their eggs in here a few nights ago. And uh, I think it's a very rewarding thing to do. This is the flower of the tropical night blooming variety that I have. It's a, sort of a dark pink, very pretty. It's about to close. It'll open again tonight, right about sundown. Most water lilies will bloom for about three days in succession, and then the flower will eventually die. And these will bloom all summer long. Down in here I have a water lily that's a party. I wanted to use this opportunity to show you the difference between a hardy and a tropical water lily. A hardy water lily has a tuberous sort of rhizome that grows underneath the, the sediments. This is a good opportunity to show you because this one is in desperate need of repotting. But anyway, uh, a tropical water lily just has these walnut shaped uh, tubers that, that sits underneath the sediment and it'll have many of them. This will just grow from one single one. Eventually they'll, they'll branch off and get little side branches just like this here. Um, this one's going to be blooming today, but it's too early in the morning for it to bloom yet. The night bloomer that I just showed you is still open, but it's about to close. This is a hardy. This one can be grown anywhere in the country. It, it doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't freeze all the way down to the sediment, this, this will uh, grow just fine. It'll make it through any winter. The tropicals will not. You'll have to uh, either bring them inside or not grow them at all. Well, I just touched on the 
differences between these three plants just a little bit. I will definitely be talking more in the future about water gardening and water lilies and lotus. They're some of my favorite plants in the world. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching Randy's Greenhouse.